So this video is for um, a lash lift. And um, we're gonna start as if we just got to work. So when we arrive at work, um, we're gonna wash our hands. So we wet our hands under water, we find some liquid hand soap, coin size, we wash our hands together down to our wrists, we wash the back of our hands down to our wrists, we wash our fingers and the backs of our fingers, we wash our fingertips, we wash um, between our fingertips, between our fingers, excuse me, between our fingers and our thumbs, um, we wash our thumbs, we wash our wrists, and we're gonna do all of that for a minimum of 20 to 30 seconds. Then we're gonna thoroughly rinse them under the water. Um, once they have been properly rinsed, we will reach for either a clean towel or disposable paper towels. Grab that, turn the water off with that, dry everything off, throw it in the trash, and then you're gonna grab your hand sanitizer and you are going to sanitize those hands. And then um, you're ready to go and prepare your workstation and set everything up before your client gets there. So let's talk about that step of the process. Um, you will um, disinfect your workstation, bed, and equipment using a disinfectant wipe and you'll follow manufacturer's instructions. You will check equipment to ensure that all devices are in safe working order and plugged into a working receptacle. You'll dispense products needed for the service you will prepare disposable portion cups for each product with a portion of the product by opening the top of the container and ensuring the tip of the nozzle does not come into contact with the disposable portion cup or tray or remove the product with a disinfected or single clean single use spatula. Close the lid to the product and set the portion cup tray on the tray. You'll drape your facial bed using one fitted sheet, one flat sheet and three towels. You'll place clean laundered sheets down on a disinfected facial bed, placing a towel Horizontally at the head of the bed, lay a hairnet and headband on top of the first towel, along with a roll towel to support the head and neck of the client. Save the third towel to lay acro across the client's decollete, or use a disposable table paper to drape the bed. So, um, we have all of that, and I'm gonna go over what we have on our tray already set up and prepared for this service. So what we have is um, gloves, we have um, our makeup remover, we have our um, eyelash glue, we have um, a lash lifting tool, we have um, our rollers, rods rather. We have um, our iPads. We have circles, a cotton rounds. We have um, some four by fours. We have these individual applicators that we can apply stuff with. We have um, lash lifting lotion and we have our um, setting lotion and then we have our warm water in a bowl. We also have our like our petroleum jelly to put underneath the um, iPads to keep them in place. And we have the 4x4s to put over the eyes while it's processing. So we have everything on our tray that we need to perform the service. And our client has arrived, so we're going to go greet our client and do our client consultation. So we're always gonna greet our client with clean hands, just putting that out there, although I'm gonna wash my hands again here in a minute before we start the service. So we're gonna greet our client and do our client consultation. So we'll greet our client and escort them to the work area. We will assess the client's current style. We're gonna determine the client's preferences. Let's assess the client's needs. We'll assess the client's skin by performing a skin analysis to ensure that there is no inflamed, infected, broken, raised, or swollen skin in the area to be worked on, or an open wound or sore in the area to be worked on, infection or infestation like lice, to prevent from safely performing the service. We'll assess the client's consultation form for any medications and products used within the last 72 hours and we'll consult on any known allergies. We'll consult with the client on any facial surgeries within the last three months and if the client is under a physician's care. We'll assess if the client is prone to cold sores or fever blisters. 
will assess if the client has used exfoliating or lightening agents within the last 72 hours, like alpha hydroxy acids, beta hydroxy acids, hydroquinone, etc. We'll assess facial injections within the last three weeks, like Botox or hyaluronic fillers. If the client is free from any of those contraindications, you can move forward with the procedure. So let's get her comfortable. Um, you'll help the client onto the bed because our client didn't have any of those concerns and we'll get everything ready here for our client. So we're gonna roll a towel for under her neck and tuck her in nicely on the bed. We um, have a, oops, let's put our towel horizontally on the bed here at the top and then we have her roll towel and then we are going to place her headband on get her hair out of the way we don't want her hair in the way of the lashes and then we're gonna um, place another towel over her decollete just make sure everything's covered And now it is time to wash your hands because you can't start the service without clean hands. So you're gonna wet your hands under the sink and get that liquid hand soap, coin size, rubbing your palms together down to the wrist, rubbing the back of your hands down to the wrists. You're gonna wash your fingers. You're gonna wash the backs of your fingers. You are gonna wash between your fingers. You're gonna wash your fingertips and your nails. You're gonna wash between your fingers and your thumbs. You're gonna wash your thumbs, your wrists. All of that for a minimum of 20 to 30 seconds. You're rinsing thoroughly under the water at the sink. When you have that proper rinse, you're gonna grab those paper towels, turn the water off, dry everything thoroughly, throw the paper towels away, and then get your hand sanitizer to finish your hand wash. Make sure you get nice and dry here because you have to put your gloves on and it's really hard to put your gloves on with san wet sanitizing hands. So the first thing that you're going to do is cleanse her eyes and we're going to do that with our makeup remover of course. Just gonna make sure that they are nice and dry as well after they've been cleansed.
And um, what we're going to do now is um, we're going to position and figure out the uh, correct size of the silicone rod. And um, we're just going to pretend like it's this because I don't have um, any others other than this to practice with. And I think it'll be great. And I'm just lucky that I have um, something to show that's actually realistic. So I measured the rod and I know what I'm using for that. So what I wanna do now is do my iPad part. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my um, like Vaseline type product and put it underneath her eye so I can stick her iPads on. And I'm sticking down those lower lashes, cover, covering up and making sure the lower lashes are down underneath the iPad. So we've got her um, iPads on and then we are going to put the rod on and we're gonna hold it down ensuring that it is um, stuck so let's just pretend here we're putting a little bit of eyelash glue to the back of it and we're gonna make sure that it adheres really nicely before we move on And we'll do the same thing for the other side. So we're gonna put a little bit of that eyelash glue and adhere it to our girl. Just taking a minute here to make sure that it sticks. And then we are going to take um, some eyelash glue to the front of the silicone rod and we're going to use our lash lifter so let's just do that because you'll have to do one at a time and you will then ensure that they will adhere to that rod and then once you do that you'll take the time here to make sure that you separate the lashes and that they all look really really good and they're not going in a bunch of different directions so take your time here this is a little bit of slow and steady work And separating them and making sure they're all going in the right direction on the rod which if we had the stuff you would see that it would actually stick to the rod which is not going to do that in this video but the rods not going to stick either just so you know like all of this isn't going to work because it's pretend product So this is gonna take some time. So we're gonna move on to the other side because we don't have that reality of what that is.
but at least you can see the movements and the focus on what I'm trying to do here for her. Just gonna go to the other side now, the same thing. I'm gonna get a bit of that lash glue and applying it to the rod. And then I will work on her lashes. And I would be working from the outside of the farthest part away with the lashes and then working my way into the nose. separating them, you know, doing the same thing I did on the other side where I'm taking my time to make sure that everything is stuck to the, all the lash, upper lashes are on the rod and separated nicely in the position that I want them to be in, looking gorgeous before I even think about moving forward with the next step. So, because I can't really do it, we're gonna pretend like that is the lashes have been adhered to the rod, which if you can see it up close in the video, they are not, um, just so you know, they would be. Um, and it's at this point um, that we would apply the Lash Lift Lotion using an application brush from the base of the lash three quarters of the way up. And, I am going to utilize a mascara wand as my lash lift lotion applicator. And I'm gonna make sure that I go from the base to about three quarters of the way up, no higher. But I would really have an applicator. And I'm just being very careful not to get to the end of the lash. move on to the other eye so 
same thing, base to about three quarters of the way up, being careful to avoid the end of the lash. Okay, and then um, following the manufacturer's instructions, you would um, uh, leave it on. You, we're gonna allow ours to process for five to, to 10 minutes. Um, depending on the strength of the lashes, some lashes can process as fast as three minutes. And so while that's happening, we'll give them a nice little cover and Obviously, we're not really going to stay. Uh, it's a video, so we're not going to sit here for five to ten minutes. We're going to pretend like that time has elapsed. So um, at this point, uh, the lash lift is processing, and we'll just pretend like we set a timer and that now it is um, bing, it's ready to go. So we're going to take off this little resty cover blanket we've got there, and then we are going to um, gently remove um, the product. So we're going to just gently, gently remove. The product. And I'm going to do it dry, then damp, and then dry again with when I as I'm removing. So this is a dry remove first being careful not to get anything anywhere and now I'm going to do a damp just a damp not a wet wet just a damp remove here just making sure ensuring I'm getting all of the stuff off of the lifting stuff off Got a little damp remove right now, a little damp. And I go back with some dry, just to make sure it's nice and dry before we move on to the next step. And what we're going to do now, after we've done that, is we are going to um, apply the setting lotion. So we'll use an application brush and we are going to let it process for five min minutes or less. Um, So we're going to use a little brush again with our um, setting, for our setting lotion. And I think um, this is the time that we can put our, the towel on. I shouldn't have done the little eye cover with the other one. So sorry about that. Reboot on that. So we're doing our setting lotion at we've removed the lift. And now we're gonna put our eye pads on to cover and let her rest. So this is gonna sit on here for um, five minutes or less. And once again, because of the video, we're just gonna move forward and take it off. We'll pretend like that time has elapsed Ping, five minutes is up. And um, we will now um, 
remove that. So we're going to do dry, damp, damp, and then we'll be able to take everything off with water. So we're going to do dry first, being careful to not remove uh, or move the um, rod or the iPad. Now we're going to do damp. And now we're going to take some um, water and remove, gently remove the lashes from the rod. And so we can take that rod right off and place it over here. And water and remove that. It came off nicely. We're going to take our iPads off now. And we're going to go in and do a really nice clean for her. Around, of course, around it. Maybe with a clean mascara wand, you could comb through before you show her and present in the mirror how beautiful they look. And I'm gonna grab our mirror so that we can show our client how stunning her lash lift is. And she's like, oh my goodness, it's amazing. So she will then um, be ready to go. So you're going to let her meet you out and you can talk about what um, her aftercare is and what needs to happen. So we're gonna discuss what happens now to end this um, lash lifting. So what you're gonna do is go over the maintenance and aftercare and get her checked out, make sure she has everything she needs, and then you can book her for her next appointment because she looks so amazing and she loves it so much. Um, you will throw your disposable gloves away, you'll take those off, and then you've gotta clean and prepare your room for your next client because you've got another person coming in for another lash lift, so you gotta get on it. So you're gonna dis discard any single-use items like the mascara wand or those Q-tips or anything like those applicators, all that, in the trash. You're going to make sure you get your implements that you use and put them in a closed container labeled to be disinfected. You're going to place any of the laundry that you use with her, like her towels, um, the linens on the bed, her headband, etc., in a closed container until it's time to be laundered. And then you're going to clean and disinfect your work area. So you're going to identify a proper cleaning agent, read the manufacturer's directions, and follow the manufacturer's directions for mixing and usage. You will wipe down the workstation and area with cleaning solution to remove debris. You'll identify disinfectant that is bacterial, cidal, viral, cidal, fungicidal, EPA approved for use in a salon setting. You'll follow manufacturer's directions for mixing and or using appropriate aerosol disinfectant. Um, and then you'll disinfect electrical equipment, store it in a clean area separate from other implements. Um, and then that you would have had gloves on for the bacterial, cidal, virucidal, that disinfectant. So you're gonna to toss those gloves in the trash. And then to finish your service, we always have to finish with a hand wash. So we will wash our, wet our hands at the sink, um, coin size liquid hand soap, rub your hands together down to the wrist. You're gonna wash the back of your hands down to the wrist. You're gonna wash your fingers, the backs of the fingers. You're gonna wash um, fingertips and nails. You're gonna wash between the fingers, between the fingers and the thumbs. Um, you're gonna wash the thumbs and you're gonna wash your wrist. You're gonna do all of that for a minimum of 20 to 30 seconds. And then you thoroughly rinse your hands off. Um, grab either a clean towel or disposable paper towels, grab them, turn the water off with that hand, dry everything off thoroughly, 
Um, and when you're dry, toss the paper towels in the trash or put the other in the closed container for laundry. Get your hand sanitizer. Rub those hands together until you have done the same with your hand sanitizer. And once all of that is said and done, you can move on to your next client, get your stuff set up for your next lash lift. And this concludes your lash lift video.